Hi guys, it's Z again, and today I'm going to show you how to use GIMP to remove blemishes or imperfections from your photos. So for those of you that are not familiar with GIMP, GIMP is a free open source photo editing piece of software that you can download from the internet using the address GIMP.org. So let's get started. Um, how many of us have been and took a great photo and there are some imperfections or blemishes on that photo or you may have something in the background that you don't want. So we're going to use this photo, it's a great photo of a family on a beach but it could be improved if we could get rid of the people in the background. So the first thing we need to do is um, find the image and open it in GIMP. So open, find the image convert and now we have the image in GIMP. So we're going to use this tool here that called the clone tool. So this is how you use it. You click on clone and that brings up a circle and you can set the size of the circle from this panel here. At the minute I'm on 51. That works for me. Let's zoom in a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to completely get rid of everything here and just have the sea behind. So it's a really clean shot. So when you use a clone tool, whatever you have in this circle, another circle will, will appear over here once you activate it. And when you move that circle, you effectively duplicate what was in the first circle. So it's an excellent tool. So, I'm going to firstly select the ocean. On a Mac, you need to press Command and click and then move over to where you would like to duplicate what's in the first circle to the position of the second circle. So, you just click your mouse and move around and whatever's in the first circle will be duplicated in your second circle. So, here we go. So you can see we're removing the people in the water with the surfboards there. And you just keep doing this. Command, click, release command, move over. If you're using a, um, a Windows laptop or computer, it's um, control and click release control and move to where you want to duplicate that part of the image. So you can see we've Done really well there. We'll zoom in a little bit more just so we can get a much clearer image. That's looking good. Now we'll take out this lady. Across. So wherever the circle, your second circle moves to, uh, horizontally or vertically, the first circle that you're duplicating also moves to that position as well, in line. So if we put a, um, a, our first circle here, command click, and we put our second one here, here, then we should reproduce that horizon right through the center of the, the lady. That's excellent. I'm 
go on completely get rid of that and this bit should be easy because it's all pretty consistent that's what you've got to watch for if your first circle goes over the top of the original um, image that you are deleting it would try to reproduce that image even though you can't see it in your in your second circle so you do have to have a bit of a gap just need to watch for that so let's keep going right let's zoom back in just to, to tidy up this horizon And then we've just got a little bit of feet to um, the, the close to the sand to sort out. So we'll zoom into that area using shift and plus on a Mac. So what we'll do is grab that. That's really good. Just this little blemish here. So a little bit left here. Turn back out. That's looking good. So what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more authentic, is um, see these boys that are floating here. I'm going to try and put a, a boy over here as well. So we can do exactly the same. Command or Control click and then we'll choose a position over here to duplicate that just there move that from side to side that's great but what you can see is the C on this side of the uh, the photo is slightly lighter in color to the C on this side so we can zoom into there and we can do exactly the same again just to darken that up a little bit. Um, one final thing that I didn't mention, if you want to increase the size of your brush, you can um, just use this toolbar here. Um, you can also use a harder brush, which will give you a really defined edge to it, or a softer brush there. But that's it, that's our final image. Um, much better improvement and really focused on the subjects in the middle now. Hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, please give us a like. Um, and subscribe for further videos to come.